Hey guys, welcome back to Gear Facts. Today it's the Casio XWP1 synthesizer. Got a bit of a love-hate relationship with this one, I have to say. It's got some great sounds on it, and it's got some really poor sounds on it, and it's got some brilliant sequencing features uh, that are unfortunately a little bit difficult to get your head around and use. But anyway, I'm sure you probably came just to hear the sounds, so let's run through a few of them. These patches have been downloaded from some of the sound banks that are available on Casio's website. Drawbar organ controls. Arpeggio. So as you can see just by the names of these patches as I'm going through, they're all pretty pedestrian and these are the upgraded ones too. I think this is a keyboard that you'd really have to fight with to get some inspiring sounds or to get the real bursts of excitement and creativity that you get when you start up a Korg keyboard or a Yamaha. But on the plus side it is heavily laden with features. There is this sequencer right over here, we just start that. 
Now that sounds like something that you would hear on a home keyboard, it's very uninspiring. But this 16 step sequencer can handle a whole lot of tracks. And if I just pan over this way, each of these keys can jump you automatically to a new part of your song. So what I'm saying is in effect all eight of these keys can be a sequence on its own and you can just jump between them as simple as that. Everything will stay in the sync including the arpeggiator at the top here. But having said that, this keyboard will give you no help whatsoever. It's all up to you to create your song literally from nothing. Over here we've got the drawbar system here which is great for quick sound synthesis and they act as drawbars of course for the organ and if you're into that kind of thing then that's certainly useful. The usual pitch bend and modulation at the side here. Four assignable knobs, very scratchy cut off and resonance, rough as guts. Again, some people like it that way. Me personally, I'd prefer it to be a little bit smoother. These two are assignable. Four levels of sound here. These ones over here are effectively mode switches. So we've got our solo sound there. Hex layer here, you can layer up to six sounds all together at once to create something really fat and juicy there. Drawbar organ mode here, and then the sequencer. Each mode is complex in its own way. And like I said, bristling with potential, but difficult to use. Over here we've got some more utilities, including the demo mode. And I'll provide a link to those at the end of this video. Tempo controls over here. Arpeggiator controls. Plus your mixer and an effects section, which is reasonably good. Although, again, I do have concerns because there are some combinations of effects that you just can't get. For example, delay won't work with many of the modulation effects. Quite frustrating. Over here we've got a quick sound selection system. Nothing remarkably innovative, but it is quick, giving you slightly quicker access than using the jog dial here to the particular sound that you want. Down here, more menu navigation arrow keys. Menu, yes, no. And quick access to transposing and octave controls here. Over here is the big empty space. That's designed to put an iPad on. It even has a little catcher at the bottom here so that your iPad won't slide away. Lots of friction on the surface to keep it steady. 